the Vancouver Canucks have just made a really interesting trade, one that I honestly like quite a bit. We traded Michael Chaput, yeah, that's right, that's the Willie Desjardins athlete Michael Chaput, over to the Chicago Blackhawks in exchange for forward Tanner Kiro. If you've never heard of Tanner Kiro, that's okay, because he's only played eight games in the NHL in the past season. At the same time, however, in 2016-17, he played 47 games, where he grabbed 16 points for the Blackhawks. Kiro is a guy who spent the majority of his year this year with the Rockford Ice Hogs in the AHL. 20 points in 36 games played, he's a player who might step into the Vancouver Canucks lineup seeing that he has the NHL games played, or he'd be able to spend some time with the Utica Comets, but it's fine either way because we just traded away Michael Chaput. Now don't get me wrong, Chaput was a guy who did post better AHL numbers in this past season than Kiro. 42 points in 55 games played, 17 goals, Chaput was definitely an important player on the Utica Comets system, seeing as he was second in points behind Reed Boucher. But, alas, Chaput's contract has just expired, and the Vancouver Canucks basically already said, yeah, we're not gonna keep you. So, the fact that we were able to trade Chaput for a player who's still under contract is automatically a win. Doesn't matter how good that other player is, it just matters that he's a player who exists. And now, Michael Chaput going over to the Chicago Blackhawks is an unsigned, unrestricted free agent, and he'll be negotiating with the Blackhawks to start off the free agency period. Of course though, Michael Chaput as an NHL athlete wasn't necessarily the most special nugget, but he was given a ton of opportunities by Willie Desjardins, which a lot of Vancouver Canucks fans were like, yo, what in the world? So yeah, that's basically it. Quick one-for-one -one trade right here. An unrestricted free agent for a guy under contract. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Because we wouldn't have kept Shapu anyway. Either way, the result is he's off of our team. But this scenario puts us in a position where we grab somebody else. So that automatically makes this trade a win, doesn't it? Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video to reply to Natural Trolls like Gaming. And... Bye.